Welcome everyone to a new video from How to Windows. If you're watching this video, probably you have already tried to extend volume of a drive of your computer and failed because the extend volume option is grayed out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve that issue. Maybe you've already tried other tutorials and got stuck because the moving option doesn't work. I'm going to sort out that too for you. I highly suggest you to watch this entire video before you actually doing it. Because working with hard disks are little risky and should be done very carefully. So guys follow the video. I'm going to attach this allocated space of 5 GB to the C drive. But as you can see the extend volume is grayed out. The reason for this issue is that to extend a drive space, the free space should be next to it. You can see, if I right click my D drive, it is available to extend volume. Because it's next to my unallocated space. So it should be moved near to C drive. Unfortunately, Windows Disk Manager doesn't support that. So we're going to use a free partition manager called AMA Partition Assistant. Search it on Google and go to their website and download it. Then install it on your computer of course. Ok, this is the interface of the software. Be careful to have an uninterrupted power supply to your computer while these processes are going on. Now we're gonna move this 5.25 GB space. You can do that by right clicking on it and choosing the resize move partition option. But as you can see that option is also not available. Why is that? Because the C and D drives are encrypted with BitLocker. So first, they should be decrypted. To do that go to this PC and right click on the C drive and go to show more options if you're using Windows 11 and click on manage BitLocker. Then click on turn off BitLocker of the C drive. Select the decrypt all drives option. Ok, now drives are decrypting. This might take a long time depending on the volume of data you have on your hard disk and the writing and reading speed of it. Decrypting of my C drive is finished. Now D drive is decrypting as you can see here. While it is decrypting I like to ask you to like the video. I will appreciate you doing that. Ok, both drives are decrypted. Now we can move to the next step. Close our partition assistant and reopen it to refresh its data. Now, first of all, you should convert that unallocated space into a partition. Right click on it and choose the create partition option. Then click OK. Then apply it by clicking there on the top. You can see the new drive on this PC. Now right click on the drive you want and click on resize move partition. Then tick here and select the new drive we created a moment ago. It can be a different letter for you, be careful about that. Now drag this arrow and change the amount of space you want to transfer from the new drive to the old drive. Drag to the right completely if you want to transfer the whole volume of the drive. In that case, you can also use the merge partitions option of the software if you want, before the unallocated space is converted to a partition, or by deleting it, if you already did it. Either way, it's different only a little bit. I'm showing it to you also. Ok after that click apply then proceed. Now if you added the free space to the C drive, then your computer is going to restart and do some processes at the boot. Let them happen without any interruptions. Ok, here you can see my C drive has got that 5 GB space successfully. The disk manager also looks good, with no issues. So that's it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.